YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Planet Based Strategy and Tactics, Episode 13, and see if it's our lucky day with the trader. Uh, materials. Hmm. Commission. Oh, 35%. You have a ton of cash. Oh, I'm not buying your stuff. But boy, howdy, am I selling it. Actually, I'm out of starch. I could buy some of your starch, but no. I want your cash. Give me your cash. Yeah, we've kind of depleted a whole butt ton of our uh, of our stuff here. Um, let's let's burn up some of our ore. Let's oh, our medical supplies derp. That's the whole reason I've been producing them. Seventy-five. 85. Boy, I don't have anything that's... Wait a minute. Do I not have any... Oh, the food's all being brought into our new, brand new uh, meal makers. That's why I don't have it available for trade. Uh, silly me. Oh, well, here. Take that and give me uh, that. Yeah, give me two of those. Give me another one of those. Make it nice and even. There we go. Medical supply. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We'll take it. So much money. 35% commission. I am a happy man. But yeah, that, yeah, all three of these things sucked up all of our extra, all of our extra food, which is why it wasn't available for trade. It's not that we are in impending sh food shortage. That being said, I am going to want to upgrade these to, uh, Rice patties. Let me just find ones that have recently produced, like that one. That one's about to produce. That one we can scrap. Anything under 30, basically. Um, yeah. We'll scrap that one so they don't waste the time on fixing it. I might, uh, I might replace one of the medical, um, pods here, the medical plant producers. Which one of these is, oh, this one just produced. Go away. You're going to get replaced with rice. Because we do have a bit of an excess of the medical. That way we will have, we will ensure additional food. And as needed, we'll build another lab. Boy, I'm glad I built that, uh, that extra dorm. People are, uh, people are getting, have plenty of sleep that needs to be done here. Alright, we are at, uh, we are actually at our oxygen capacity here. So, I'm going to turn off colonists for just a moment, uh, until we get, uh, our next oxygen producer built. Because, we, yeah, we don't want them sucking the air. We don't want to go air negative. And I, I think I will go my uh, uh, go against my previous advice and actually build the larger oxygen producer. Yeah, now here, yeah, we're going to want this up here to give us side room on both sides. And yes, I know, that's going to scrap a couple of our screens. That's okay. In the case of the canteen, it's okay to have multiple entrances and exits to it, um, even though you lose some um, viewer screen uh, real estate. That's okay. It's it, it's not as critical as the other uh, buildings like the lab and the security consoles here. Yeah, and the other thing I think I'm going to do is uh, going to uh, yeah even out our uh, processing here just to make sure our metal flow can go just as fast because we're starting to get the ore production in very high quantities especially with all these driller bots going um and you are making me yeah you're making a carry bot that's okay we need carry bots carry bots are always good in fact, I might go back to my original plan of doing two carry bots, one driller bot, and just making that the constant production there. Uh, 
All right, starting to get... can't believe our thing's actually starting to outstrip our uh, starch production. Oh, yeah, our power. Yeah, we're good. Just barely, though. All right, I think after we finish this uh, oxygen producer... We're gonna we're gonna go make our push towards our solar or uh, starport. Now, in order to do that, we need lots of power. We're gonna need that fourth solar panel. Um, and once we get our fourth solar panel, um, we're actually probably going to need another collector and then the starport because the starport by itself devours electricity. Thirty three by itself, and all of this is gonna require a butt ton of ore. Um, namely, yeah, this is why I switched this over to another, uh, another metal producer. Because we need these, these, this metal production going at absolute maximum. I am half tempted to build a whole processing plant just for metal. That would be, that would be pretty darn crazy. But possibly crazy effective. Which is something we want. Oh, yeah, you guys are doing your thing. Nothing sitting in the armory, which means we have at least as many guns as there are guards. We're making more guns, which is good. Spares workshops on hold because we don't need the need more. So we're just going to the semiconductors here, and we're waiting on semiconductors. Oxygen generator has been built. Splendid. Go ahead and make that connection if you please. If you please. Or just walk past it, that's okay. Whatever. Alright, let's look at my... Now this number is kind of deceptive, because this is metal that's inside other things as well. Although there's some metals building up here in the storage. But I'm going to wait for a little bit more metal to build up in storage before I uh, launch into our next expansion here. But it also, that also means we can turn back on colonists. Engineers? Hmm. Now let's go biologists, because we're going to be replacing our wheat plants with rice plants, so we're going to need more biologists to maintain them. Which reminds me, let's go scan these. For ones, this is under 30. Good. You just produced under 30. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and these things are still being chuck full of, uh, of ore. Do I want to make a, a processing plant dedicated to just metal? I really kind of do. I really, really kind of do. But where would I put it? could put it up here. I mean, that's kind of breaking the rule with the whole... Anywhere I can squeeze one of these. It would make me sound a little clever. Yeah, and I can't do it out here because it's it's on the opposite side of an airlock. There isn't too much. Oh, I could do a, f a four size one up here. This would be otherwise a tremendous waste of space if I couldn't do this. All right, you know what? Darn it. It's going to be our metal mecca. It's not the most efficient. But we're going to do it. We're going to supercharge our... Uh, once we get a one load of biologists, I'm going to switch over to workers. And yeah, we're just going to build honey bunches of metal producers. Turn all the ore into metal. And we're just going to be able to hyperspeed our base at this point. And here's a traitor. What do you got for me, buddy? You 
got goods, you got patents. What do you got? Give me some goods. Um, what's your commission? 40. Hmm. Well, I like this metal. I like that metal. I like your money, too. Alright, let's liquidate some bioplastic. Let's liquidate some... Yeah, let's liquidate all of our... Yeah, all but one. Hmm. Do you have other stuff that I could sell off? You know, these extra medical plants. Forty percent commission's not too bad to siphon off some uh, some cash. There we go. Nice. We'll take it. All right, seven metal influx. That will help uh, kickstart uh, our whole process here of uh, building up our metal producer because we're gonna need metal to make the metal processors. But once we do that, all of that ore is going to get uh, liquefied. Boy, look at that marching line going out there. Just everybody uh, marching on out. And then these people are using these airlocks for this ship. Ah, a thing of, a thing of beauty and efficiency. But yeah, we're going to need that solar panel after that because our extra processing plant's probably going to start sucking more power too. And yeah, we, we had we had the goods. We had it all liquefied here. Alright, what are you guys doing? You guys need some sleep. Go sleep. And with this large canteen being sandwiched between ox two oxygen producers, no matter how many people fill it, it'll be uh, pretty good oxygen-wise. All right, you going out there to, f to build my building, Mr. Constructor Bot? I hope so. And we got a driller bot going in for repairs. Good job, Mr. Driller Bot. Oh yeah, and you're smart enough to use the other airlock. Good. All right, this should be uh, this should be very fun in terms of how much metal we're going to ultimately be spitting out here. We just got five more medical plants to bring out to this dude, and we're golden. And we have some more cash on hand in case a nice uh, patent ship comes along. In time, we're going to have to build out uh, another bot producer to uh, get more service modules. But for now, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm not, I haven't seen what, you know you've exceeded your auto repair capacity when you start seeing bots break down in the field just because they haven't had a chance to get a turn there. Okay, here we go, boys. And just for... Just for a little bit of balance sake, we'll do that. Well, this is really, really far from the nearest oxygen producer, I do have to say. I wonder if I could do a small oxygen producer off of here. I wonder if I can... Can I break through here? Like, go across this mountain? Can I... No, I can... I can make a small oxygen producer off of here if I if I really needed to, if oxygen was an issue. But eh, we'll see. And there's all the metal out there, ready to be turned into machines over here, which will then turn more stuff into more stuff and. All the good stuff. Yeah, this is why we need the more biologists. We are still hiring biologists, right? Yes, good. We just haven't gotten them yet.
Yeah, because I knew turning all, them all into rice is gonna, was going to require more people to keep them maintained. But that's okay. After that, we're going to need a whole butt ton more workers. Of course you prioritize the, the bioplastic ones, the one we don't really need. And here, we'll kick this one on to priority as well. Yes, yes, I know you guys need more maintenance. I'm I'm getting more biologists. Keep your pants on. Yeah, you guys keeping the keeping the meat alive. How's our materials doing? Yeah. Yeah. We're using up the ore a little bit faster, but that's okay. We need more carry bots to get the ore being produced at the mines to the to the places. I could do an airlock out to here, so it goes right to here, but eh, we already have the double airlock there. Right, do any of these actually have any ore in yeah, this one? Yeah, now we're getting all of our raw materials brought out there. And colony ship. This should be our biologists. Ooh, we're going to suffer some problem problems. Power problems. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to run out of pro. We're going to run out of power. We got to turn this off. For now. We need that extra solar panel. Let's see, can we squeeze it anywhere efficient? Yes, we can! There it goes! Yeah, slightly longer uh, power outage. I overestimated how much... Uh, I overestimated how much uh, extra juice this uh, this uh, thing would draw. Luckily, the day is just around the corner. I don't think we're going to suffer a critical base shutdown or malfunction or, you know, we're not going to get a big die off here. People aren't, aren't going to use up the oxygen that fast. And here's the base coming back online. Oh, relax. The oxygen, the oxygen's coming back online. Ah, oh, nuts! Luckily, that thing was empty. That would have been really bad if it wasn't. Somebody fix that, please. They're not out of oxygen. Quiet. Where the heck are you going? Out of the mine. All right then. Hey, 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 hey! Shh, shh, bit, 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 fix it. Fix it. Somebody go out and fix that. Luckily, we have the other power, empty power collectors to start soaking up the juice. But yeah, four more metal. We got to hurry up with that. Luckily, we're hurrying up with that. Yeah, I think I'm going to shut this thing down at night so it's not such a drain.
But yeah, you guys are making lots of metal out of it, so I want you guys, I want you guys producing it. Uh oh. All right, good. Yeah, we still have food. We're not suffering food shortages. I think after we get our starport up and running, another biodome will be of will be in order. All right, good. You're going out to fix it. All right, what do you got for me, Mr. Trader? Ooh, what is... Oh, it's our solar panel at a 55% commission. I don't think I can afford it. I don't think I can afford it. No, I can't make it happen. I'd love to. I would love the colossal solar panel. But why you have to be behind such a large commission? Uh, come back when you have better prices, buddy. And, or when I have more money. Yeah. Alright, four resources. Three, two... Ooh, another ship. And this should be our biologist. Oh, three of them. Okay, uh, let's switch you over to workers. Now that we have all of that. Did we lose a worker? Or, am I, or am I, did I just miscount? Yeah, we're getting the metal produced. It's just a matter of uh, getting it carried out there. Two. There's one. We just need somebody in there. Zero. Beautiful. Um, whether or not we're actually going to get the panel up and running in time for nighttime, well, we'll see in the next episode. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.